Nature isn't the only reason Lakes Michigan and Huron hit a record low this winter. Humans have been gnawing away at the St. Clair River for the better part of two centuries to open the upper Great Lakes to larger and larger freighters, and this has had major consequences for lake levels. That's because the 39-mile-long river is, literally, the drain for Michigan and Huron. In the early 1800s, some portions of the river were less than six feet deep, too shallow for even primitive cargo boats to make their way up from Lake Erie. The first navigation channels in the riverbed were dug in the 1850s. That was followed by decades of mining the river for its rich sand and gravel deposits. Between 1908 and 1925 alone, miners harvested three and a half million cubic yards of material, enough to fill 300,000 dump trucks. It didn't take long for people to realize that digging a deeper river channel allowed more water to escape from the lakes above, and riverbed mining was soon banned. But dredging for navigation continued. The U.S. and Canadian governments agreed that each time they did a major excavation, it would be compensated for by construction of an underwater dam system to slow the increased flows. But that work was never done. Not in the early 1900s when the channel was deepened to 22 feet, not in the 1930s when the channel was lowered to 25 feet, and not in the 1960s when the depth reached 27 feet. The net result of all this riverbed meddling, a permanent drop in the long-term average of Michigan and Huron of about 16 inches. That loss has been exacerbated by unexpected erosion in the riverbed since the last major dredging project that cost the lakes an additional three to five inches. That means the lakes are nearly two feet lower today. The U.S. and Canadian governments are being pressed to find ways to restore this lost water with a system of underwater dams that could raise lake levels, but could be removed or lowered if high lake levels ever return. While it might not be a natural system, it could help the lakes return to more historic levels at a time when many experts predict ever-warming waters will continue to drive lake levels down. <laughs>